Well, so you've done the Santa, the, the uh, Star Trek thing. Uh. Yeah. Uh, oh, let's see. There was more to this question, or there was more to this post, so I might as well okay. just uh, wrap oh, us up. Real quick. We had a caller that that called but but dropped. Did um, they get a topic up on the board? I don't know. What was what was the question? Can you put the question up in the message box? Maybe we can still answer. Yeah, we it can anyway. answer it even though they're gone. Um, I, I think it was something about what does being an atheist mean to you or something along those lines? Yeah, so anyway, to get back to we'll the Star Trek rule, I'm, uh, so the bottom line about the Star Trek rule is learn how to make your own damn arguments. I mean, just figure it out. C.S. Lewis could do it, Lee Strobel can do it, you can too. They're not particularly good at it. No, but, but, at, least, it. but at least they write their own material. Yeah. You know, they break it up with the occasional Bible quote. But if, you, if you're going to run around plagiarizing people, at least try to find somebody good to plagiarize. Right. And, and, and fortunately, in the apologist community, they're few and far between. <laughs> yeah, and C.S. Lewis and Lee Strobel didn't have some magical superpower. It's just putting your own thoughts in order and explaining them. And if you have to quote from the Bible, and frankly, I haven't seen many situations where it's worth bothering, but if you think you have to, then at least afterwards explain in your own words why you think, for us idiots who think that the Bible is no more credible than Star Trek, that we should care about the chapter and verse you just quoted. And uh, also, that verse that everybody uses all the time against atheists, the fool has said in his heart there is no God, Ha ha, zing, we've never heard that one before. Your fictional book about God says we're fools not to believe in the fictional God. See, this is a doubly bad way to preach effectively because first it breaks the ca Star Trek rule, like saying, Captain Kirk says you're a fool. And second, it makes you sound like a dick. <laughs> if your goal is to make all the Christians uh, secretly reading the thread chortle at your great insult, then go ahead and be a dick. Doesn't matter to us. But if your goal is to actually persuade these foolish atheists that we should accept Jesus, then just don't be a jerk because they won't listen to you.